Taking the train from Guangzhou, we landed in Shenzhen, a bustling city bordering Hong Kong with around 17 million residents. Known for its sky-high landmarks like the 599-meter Pinyin Finance Center and the towering KK100 at 441 meters, Shenzhen surprised us with hidden gems like Lianhuashan Park. Starting from a low-key 30 meters at the entrance, we explored the park with a fantastic view onto Pingan, eventually reaching a peak at 106 meters. The Conrad Shenzhen opened its doors in June 2023 and is located in the Nanshan district, a well-developed area in Shenzhen known for its economic activities and technological advancements. Conveniently situated close by the bay, the hotel offers a perfect setting for leisurely walks and relaxation. Due to the missing Conrad logo on the building, the hotel is a bit hidden to the eye. Moreover, if you choose Diddy to bring you there, you should pick the northern entrance for drop-off, as the other drop-off is by the street with no entrance. But enough of the complaints. It is very impressive, with pieces of art, statues, hanging trees and an awe-inspiring lobby area. For check-in, we are directly brought to the executive lounge area, which offers afternoon tea with cakes and snacks and also a small buffet selection and alcoholic beverages in the evening. The team was super professional and from the first to the last impression we had the feeling that this property could easily be branded as a Waldorf Astoria. Not only because the nightly rate is already in the Waldorf Astoria price range. We were upgraded to a King Executive Room with Bay View, which offered a very nice and relaxing view and it was nice to watch the different weather conditions. From sunshine to rain, it took sometimes only a few minutes. The room itself is also very modern and brand new, of course. It features an open bath with shower and bathtub. Of course, the duck is also waiting here, highly appreciated. The Conrad Bear is also very unique here and is made of fabric from the team's uniforms. It is available in two colors and due to a lovely staff member, we managed to get both. The welcome gift was also fantastic and a little bit sophisticated. The cake was terrific. Okay, now I want to go back. Breakfast was also high class. Not the largest, but a very fine and tasty selection. Very nice. Due to the proximity to Hong Kong, English skills were very good here and the staff was fantastic. A fantastic hotel with restaurants and bars on site, only with the downside of being far away from the main sightseeing points in Shenzhen. Watch this video next, if you look for another inspiring Conrad destination in China.